My girlfriend says my apartment looks like a doctor's waiting room. I've got magazines everywhere. Time, Newsweek, Esquire, Us Weekly, Budget Travel, Rolling Stone, The Costco Connection, I get them all. From my coffee table to my kitchen table, I always have plenty to read. And of course, I never need to buy cologne again. Over the years, I've developed a soft spot for some of the stranger publications. Magazines that, in the face of a crumbling print industry, have somehow managed to survive. I'm the proud owner of a copy of Backyard Poultry, Apronology, Juggle, Fashion Doll Quarterly. Modern Bride went out of business, but somehow, Varmint Hunter is still going strong. Witches and Pagans, Poets and Writers, Lubes and Greases. I love these types of magazines, because they let me learn about subcultures that are completely foreign to me. Subcultures like Culture, the magazine for cheese. Every issue includes a centerfold. There's Baby Couture for fashionable babies, New You, the magazine for plastic surgery, or Manure Manager magazine, a magazine that is quite literally full of crap. However, magazine Crappy World isn't what you think. The crappy is a type of fish. No one wants to find out their spouse is subscribing to Divorce Magazine, although I'd say that's probably better than finding out they subscribe to Serial Killer Magazine. Whenever I travel, I stock up on new magazines. In Japan, a BLT is something different. Beautiful lady and television. People say the digital revolution is killing magazines. And who knows, maybe one day soon we'll all be reading Western Shooting Horse on our iPads. But for now, I remain a fan of the printed periodical. I am a proud magazine aficionado. Come to think of it, I'd subscribe to that.